Getting ready to push this thing out. Getting ready to put the doors on, finally. And uh, seal this thing up, that way I can get the fenders on, get the bumper and hood and everything that I've got already painted for this. All done. Yep, I uh, got a brand new rear bumper for this, so obviously the uh, the ugly is gonna unbolt and uh, scrap that and put on a brand new one. And uh, yeah, she about ready to be pulled out and uh, get started. Already got a door out right now. I had to kind of put it in the shade because uh, it wasn't showing up very well in the uh, the video because it's just too bright. But uh, yeah, and she's ready to go. I'm gonna mount that one. Get her going today. But downfall is, wah, wah, I don't get to start that because it hasn't been started in a while. And yeah, I just don't trust it, honestly. I'd rather go through it. We're gonna pull it out anyways. And uh, it was kind of running a little wonky at first. So we're gonna make, basically run it, go through it, make sure it runs good. And uh, yeah, but anyways, beauty first. One of the main good things is, they're light, really light. I better get the keys. Yay! It's out. Alright. So now the plan. I'm gonna just move my car right over there. Cause that one runs. There's no issues with that. That's turnkey. That one's only got 93,000 original miles on the motor. So that's why, of course, I swapped everything over with that. Everything was clean and easy. I just wish the, the 98 body was really clean when I got it. Of course, it's not. But yep. We're ready to go, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this right here in uh, front of my garage so that uh, I got all my tools. Boom. Tools. Sweet. And uh, get that door on. And then uh, next one is underneath that one. Door. You can kind of see it, the tape. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So piece of cardboard, take this, putting the door on. You're going to do it all by yourself and you're not going to let anybody else do it and you got your big boy pants on. I don't need no help, right? There's a jack. Basically, you're going to set it on the jack. Jack's going to lift up, hold the door. You're going to put this piece of cardboard down on that so it doesn't chip the bottom of the door. And on top of the cardboard, you're going to lay a piece of towel. I usually lay like the, uh, you know, oh, I forget what they're called right now. I guess like a terry cloth. You know, something really soft. You know, there you go. But uh, 
yeah, uh, microfiber. Duh. So yeah, microfiber cloth. I set that down on top of the cardboard. The reason why I put the cardboard on is because kind of like to fill the voids on top of the jack so it doesn't scratch anything. There's kind of some absorption, you know, that uh, basically just kind of like yeah, an absorber. So yeah, I'm gonna put that on right now and uh, try to film it while I do it. But uh, yeah, other than that, GCA is coming together. Isn't she pretty? Alrighty, and she's not even together yet. Let's try this. Big door coming through. Set it right on the jack post. Make sure it's on there good. Alright. We gotta come up right to that. Balance that there. Might be able to get away with that, but I think I gotta go a little bit higher. Alright. So once you get in here, grab onto the door, it's a lot easier. You wanna keep space away from the door and the body so that you can scoot it in the way that you want. So I just hand threaded the bottom, made sure it threaded in. I do everything by hand first, and then I just kind of go in and make sure I get about three or four threads into the bung that's designated for the door. And then I'll go ahead and pull up the back end here towards the back of the door, pull that straight up, and then I can put in the top one, close the door, and I can sink in the other two. try and muscle it, but I do have the jack and I might as well prove a point that you can do this with the jack. Yeah, and of course it made it so much easier. Sorry, I'm just trying to rush. I'm really excited about putting this car back together. Like seeing this come together now is just, oh my. I really love these cars, especially when they're done and done correctly. Yeah, we're not even on the jack anymore now. It just kind of pulls the door in where it should be. And these bolts, they have a collar on them, so they just 
where they set is where they set. That's why I don't disconnect the, uh, the hinges from the body because I know that when I shut the door, the hinges align themselves because the door already was aligned beforehand. thread these other two in real quick. Make sure they hand thread it in. Tight quarters. Yeah, it's actually hot today. It's awesome. It's like 80 degrees. I'm not complaining. Get as much work done as possible. Beautiful day. So yeah, obviously you can put the door on all by yourself. It's pretty easy. Yeah, there's tips, there's tricks of how to do it. You know, everybody's got different ways and different opinions of how they think, you know, it can be done. And Oh, he should have had two people on there. You know, he wouldn't have slipped and whatnot. Yeah, you're probably right. You know, but I just, I've been doing it for so long that I'm used to working by myself and being independent because in the auto body world, not a lot of guys will help you out because they're there to make money and make a paycheck too as well. So a lot of times mistakes happen, you know, because that one guy is trying to do it all by himself and uh, maybe doesn't know tips and tricks and he's just trying to muscle it like I was just trying to do. And literally all I had to do is just reach down and jack the jack up and then put it right where I needed it to be. So, you know, I'm trying to teach you guys and then I go ahead and do the wrong thing. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call myself out on that one. All right, so door's on. We're going to go ahead and shut the door. There it is. Wow. That definitely is very nice. Oh, lucky. I couldn't resist. I had to go get a fender. Wow. That's going to look pretty sharp. So, of course, it's just sitting there. I just sat it on there. But, uh, give you an idea. I like it. So, I tried going with the uh, as flush, hella flush look as I could with the flares. I thought I did a, an excellent job. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. What uh, what do you guys think? All the fenders are flared also as well. I don't cut my fenders. I don't slot them and then fold them. I actually flatten the whole fender right out to a flat sheet of steel. And then I rework the lip significantly higher. So obviously the lip would, you know, would be like down to here. It's actually up here now, way up in here. So way up in there. So yeah, uh, it's all flared. Uh, everything fits. I've already done test drives for this thing when it was on primer, had to adjust coilovers, did everything for fitment, nothing hits. So yeah, it's, it's flared, ready to go. But uh, what do you guys think? Wet well, Santa buff time here pretty soon. I can't wait. But actually, uh, I never really showed you guys this. I I put the bluff valve on. I did the wall burl 255 LPH. Got rid of my fuel problem I was having because the fuel pump. Oh, sorry for random noise. But uh, I got my bluff valve on. You guys can see it. It's kind of just tucked underneath there real clean. Ran all the vacuum lines all up there. Just kind of put them behind the brackets. I really want to try and make it like it look as OEM as possible. You know what I mean? Did the 245s. They sent me some really crappy clamps. I can only use one of the clamps and I really don't even trust it. So I put an extra nut on there just so it doesn't back off the turbo. But it's been so far so good. You know, knock on wood. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, she makes noise now, which is cool. So I figured I'd show you guys that. Big difference. Man. Skeleton. I can't wait. You know, I'm going from that. Everything's all sealed and bed linered from the inside and out. All the inside of the floors underneath the new carpet to assembly starting to come together. Wow. This car is going to look really nice. I can't wait to get this thing together. 
All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end my video. It's uh, really hot today. I'm really sweating, and I'm trying to get you guys content. But uh, basically, uh, yeah, looks like assembly day. I'm so excited. I got so many painted parts downstairs that have just literally been sitting there. So now I get to run my 10 millimeter bung through all of the 10 millimeter bolt holes. Oh, I got some sweat going in my eye. And uh, yeah, clean them all up. Start bolting some parts on. So uh, that way I'm not fighting them. So yeah, I'm going to go through, clean this up. I'm probably going to give this car a bath real quick and just kind of wipe it down. It's kind of been sitting underneath my carport for a little bit. But uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, Rumble Garage, thank you for the support. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. You know, and seeing what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Sorry, no shirt. Again, it's like 80 degrees. My hair is kind of crazy today just because, like, the humidity and it's going up. But, uh, yeah, silly days and Rebel Garage time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Good for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so good at filming. How do you like being watched? <laughs> Back home from school. Nice hot day. We need a turbo timer, bud. Yeah. I'm tired of sitting here and letting this thing cool off. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. If you guys like what you see and uh, you think I should get a turbo timer, like the video. Because uh, I need a turbo timer. <laughs>